Judy Dread TV. And before I carry on with any Newcastle updates, there's been breaking news, which I'm sure is not breaking news anymore, because I'm sure the whole world know, knows by now, that for those who follow the monarchy, the Queen has passed. So whether you follow the monarchy or not, the Queen has passed. Condolences to her family. That's somebody's child. That's somebody's mother. That's somebody's grandparents. And it's a human. So, as old as she was, I'm sure it's a surprise to everyone because I never thought I'd see the day. I don't think anyone else did. She's been there long before I was born. Most people in this modern age has grown up to see her for a long, long time. So once again, condolences for those who follow the monarchy and to her family. Going on to the Newcastle updates. This one came out of nowhere. And I think it's a, if it goes through, it's a decent signing. I believe it's a it's better than an emergency. I believe this signing is a much better goalkeeper than the unfortunate injured Carl Darlow. And that's Loris Claris, if I'm pronouncing that right. He just left, he just came off the Liverpool books this summer, following loans to Besiktas Be Be in Turkey and Union. I think it's Union Berlin in Germany. He's not a bad goalkeeper. Some may differ. Some say, and myself also, that he was left out to dry after his, his obviously the most unfortunate howlers he could ever possibly make in one of the biggest finals, one of them, if not in club football, which was the Champions League final against Madrid a few years ago. And I think he's made a few clangers before then as well. He's not a bad goalkeeper. He's on a free, he will be on a free if he passes his medical. I think he's having it or he has had it. I'm not sure what's gone on since then. But why not? People say, oh, we should not let the Braffs go. Blah, 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 blah. I get their point. I can see some mixed feelings. The Braffs is gone. You're not going to keep an unhappy keeper. It is what it is. I feel unfortunate for Darlo. Lloris will come in. He said in the summer as he left Liverpool that he's been working on his personality. He's, he's training as hard. There's no days off. He's keeping fit. He felt free-minded that he was in no rush at that time to take offers or even look for offers or look for clubs. He was just waiting for the right opportunity that fits right for him. And he believes this is this is right for him. Obviously, he feels that way if he's gone or has had his medical. I think it's a, I don't look at it as an emergency signing, I look at it as a decent, if not good, signing. Like, he's not, he's not, he's not some, any keeper. He's 29 years of age. He said he's keeping fit. Why not? I think that we're going to have a world class goalkeeper in Pope and a decent keeper in Lloris. Clarice. And also, he might have a point to prove. I'm sure he knows he can't be number one or trying to go for number one. I'm sure it's a short term deal. You never know. He may become long term. He might get a chance to show what he can do. You never know. So, it's more than an emergency for me. Because winning Pope stays fit. If he's not fit, Lloris has to step in. Couldn't really rely on Gillespie. No disrespect to the guy, but you know, like I don't feel he's nah. Like, I don't think he's up for it in terms of week in week out Premier League. But he does his job, and I'm sure he does his stuff behind the scenes with the players and the staff. And also, if I'm correct, I'm sure he's a local boy. I'm not sure, but I'm sure he's a local boy. So yeah, all respect to Gillespie, but nah, this is a good, this is a good look. Um, I'm, I'm, very, I'm quite more than happy with it. But like I said, I've seen the mixed emotions. I don't know what the mixed emotions about. Is he's, he's, he's going to be our backup keeper? 
that's good. There ain't a lot of keepers going around. You understand? He's got a decent CV behind him. Yeah, he made clangers. But at one point, he was number one for Klopp. He was number one for Liverpool. So it is what it is. Good luck to him. Hopefully everything's gone all right or will go all right with the medical. And we keep it moving. So, yeah. And before I finish again, the Queen has passed away. For those who follow the monarchy, and condolences once again to her family. Julie Dread TV. Peace out. God bless.